uh, uh, Los Angeles. Uh, we have been praying for him. Uh, some of your, some of our families may be uh, knowing uh, Pastor Thomas uh, Cherian because uh, he already uh, preached in our fasting prayer uh, maybe a few months ago. So you might be knowing uh, Pastor Thomas Cherian. So this is a wonderful opportunity to have him with us this morning to uh, listen the word of God. Uh, we have a uh, uh, Suman's uh, parents also attending in this meeting from, from India. So we have to pray for them. I mean, uh, as they are attending. So a pastor is, uh, 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 pastor can eloquently speak uh, Hindi, Malayalam, and English. So he will be uh, mixing uh, some, some sentences in, uh, in Hindi also. So that would be a blessing for the other people, those who are not knowing the English. So there are uh, some other people also. So we will be praying for all of them and uh, let us all put our hands together and welcome Pastor Thomas Serian in our midst. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I want to praise the holy name and the resurrected name of Jesus once again. And uh, particularly this day when we have uh, um, you know, this day is celebrated all across the world as a day of resurrection. So I want to greet Pastor Sam Kuti and uh, the church uh, over there in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Every single one of you who are watching and listening to the message, I want to greet you. And it is an honor and a privilege once again to come to the presence of God along with all God's people sitting here, you know, listening and uh, to the beautiful songs and worshiping that living God who is alive in our midst. What a wonderful God we serve. Hamara Parmeshwa kitna mahan you know. Baki sabhi log apne devi devutaon ki aradhana karte vakat. Parmeshwar ne hame ek anugrah diya hai ki hum zinda Parmeshwar ki stuti kar sake. We are given the privilege to worship a God who is alive and he can, that fact cannot be, that truth cannot be denied. History proves that, you know, and uh, e even the, even our calendars, uh, which have the AC and uh, AD and BC uh, and the calendric form, which we have proves that Jesus is alive. And we want to thank God for that empty tomb. And that, uh, very fact, that very truth has made us alive and we are here worshipping and adoring that holy God. This uh, morning, all across the world, uh, they are celebrating the Resurrection Day, Resurrection of Jesus Christ. And before I go further, I want to thank uh, Pastor Sam Kuti and the church for giving me the opportunity to come and share God's word. Uh, I actually, I had some <laughs> meetings uh, um, uh, you know, even right before this, I had some assignments to finish. And the, then right after this, I may have to leave. So please don't feel bad. Uh, I have another church service going to start. So uh, our church is in the afternoon and I have another thing to do before that. So just want to uh, uh, say this before I enter into the word. So we know that this day is also called as Easter, which I don't like to call that day as. So, because that word Easter is uh, from a pagan context and that Easter was from Esther was a pagan God, which was incorporated into uh, the Christendom uh, or the Christian festival uh, where Jesus was risen. So, you know, later on people started calling this day as Easter, which has nothing to do with our Lord Jesus Christ. So I always prefer to call this day as Resurrection Day. And I believe that you also would agree with me. And uh, because that is theologically the right word to use, Resurrection Day. If, some, if you meet somebody, uh, rather than saying Happy Easter, we, would sh we should say Happy Resurrection Day. And more importantly for each one of us, Every day is a day of resurrection, isn't it? Every day. And that is what is something to be joyful of. 
whether it is uh, uh, um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, every day we feel the resurrected presence of God. And so we can call every day of the year as, uh, as a resurrection day. I'm glad my wife Karen has also joined. Uh, and so once again, I want to tell you that this day is a day where we are going to experience and we have been experiencing the power of resurrection. Like Paul says that I want to know him and know him and the power of his resurrection and also to know, to, to share in his suffering as we read in God's word. So I would like uh, to quickly turn our attention to few of the scripture portions and then uh, we will uh, get into the word. Uh, somebody may read, uh, if somebody can please unmute and read Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 12. That is the passage which I'll be focusing on. Of course, we find that in Matthew, Mark and uh, John also, but we'll focus on Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 12. Somebody may please read that. But on the first day of the week at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went, but when they, but when they, but when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened, Frightened, they bowed their faces to the ground, and the, med, and the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of a sinful man, sinful man and be crucified on the third day and rise. And they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and jo jo Jonah and Mary and the mother of James and the other woman with them who told these things to the apostles. But these words seemed to an idol idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking, and looking in. He Thank you. That's enough. And we have what one more, two more verses. One is from Philippians chapter three, verse number 10. And I will read that. And by the time uh, you can read Romans chapter eight, verse 28, I'll read Philippians and you may read Romans eight twenty-eight. Philippians three, 10, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. Romans 8, 28. And we know that for the, those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Thank you. <clears throat> These three references will be interchangeably used and the themes will be brought from all these three passages. In Tino Bhago Me Se, मैं कुछ एक बातों को आपके सामने रखना चाहूंगा मुझे बताया गया कि आप हिंदी में भी बोलिए तो बीच में जो मुख्य बिंदु हैं मैं उसको हिंदी में आपको बताऊंगा बाकी अंग्रेजी में सो आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट वी हैव पीपल स्पीकिंग हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश एंड मिंगलिश लाइक मी सो यू नो वी आर सो ग्लैड दैट वी आर यू नो फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कल्चर्स एंड दैट इज द मॉडल ऑफ हेवन यू नो इवन इन हेवन वी हैव पीपल फ्रॉम all language, all la uh, culture, and all tribes. And that is what we read in the book of Revelation. Now, coming back to the theme, which I'm going to sh share with you, I'm going to share my screen also. I quickly made the PowerPoint. And uh, if you find any difficulty in understanding, please forgive me because that was hurriedly made in just 10 minutes back. So we are going to talk about a God who does everything good no he turns everything into uh, uh, a state of uh, goodness no he brings everything makes everything well in his own time even though the world across thought especially the roman government and the jewish world as you know on the day good friday day they crucified jesus and they thought that his story has come to an end the story of Jesus and his disciples have come to an end and finally he was buried in the tomb. But I want to tell you this, uh, this morning that our God is a God who can change situations, who can transform our bad into good. 
And that's what we read in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And also we read about Paul's statement in Philippians that, that he wants to know the power of his resurrection. And also the and sharing in his suffering. So we are going to bring all these themes together to discuss about uh, the theme, the tombs of your life that can, the tombs that can be the wombs in your life. This is what I am trying to bring. I hope you can see my screen. Is that okay? Everyone can see me? Okay. The tombs that can become wombs in your life. Now you all know what is meant by tomb. I'm going to explain that in a few minutes based on the text reference uh, and also explain what is meant by womb. You know, so the womb is the place where you have life delivered or life formed. Tomb is the place where you keep the bo dead bodies and nobody would like to go to that place. So that is what uh, we are going to see. How can God transform our bad situation, our tomb-like situation into a womb-like situation. You know, that is based on uh, uh, the passage we read, Luke chapter 24, verse 1 to 12. Now, I know that God has been doing this from the very beginning. There is no doubt about it. Prameshwar Hamare jo kabr ki avastha ko ek garb ki avastha mein badal sakta hai yani mrutak avastha ko jeevit avastha mein lekar aa sakta hai ye hamara mukhya bindu aaj ka jo prachar ka and you know that god has been doing it from the very beginning genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and 3 we read that the null and void earth was transformed into a beautiful earth Verse number three, Genesis 1, 3. And we know all about it. And then we know how Noah's time, the whole earth was flooded and was destroyed because of sin of human being. And you know how God transformed that flooded situation of earth into a beautiful earth, you know, after the time of Noah. Parmeshwar ne nu ke sthiti samay mein us baad ki avastha se badal ke prabhu ne us zameen ko, us dharti ko kitna skhub surat banaya. And again, we come into the life of Abraham. Abraham was a man who had a tomb-like situation for 99 years, childless person known to be cursed by all the people around him. <clears throat> very discouraged, very disappointed. You know, at the age of 99 or at the age of 100, he became father of a, a, a man who is called as the father of nations. No. So that is what God does. God can do anything. Hamara Parmeshwar kuch bhi kar sakta. And that is why we are rejoicing that he has done great things on the day of resurrection. And that is what we are going to look at uh, point by point. And then... We are going to talk about how God can transform the tombs of our lives into wombs of our life, right? The first point which I want to bring out is the tombs of one's life. So this is uh, um, the thing that I want to bring out with our, in our lives, the tombs of one's life. What can be the tombs in our lives? Everyone has a tomb. Sab vikti ke jivan mein ek kabra hoti hai. Everyone has a tomb in their life. You know, some, some people's tombs may be bigger ones. Some may be smaller ones. Some may be, you know, kind of very, uh, you know, polished one. And some may be, you know, they don't want to show it to others. They are nicely painted, just like the tombs are nicely made. And from outside, it looks uh, like a, you know, showcase. But, you know, like, that some people smile from outside, you know? They don't want to show their weakness. They don't want to show their sadness, but deep down in their heart, they are crying like khanas. Even this morning, you may be going through situations from outside, it's a very painted tomb, but inside you may be crushed and disappointed and not knowing what to do. So everyone has one or other tomb in their life. And I'm going to go into detail based on the text we read. Now, what is a tomb? Based on the text where three sisters led by Mary Magdalene, they're going to the tomb to see the dead body of Jesus. Now they knew a few days back when Jesus was buried by Joseph of Arimathea, and they knew where he was laid. So they are preparing to go there. 
because for two days they cannot go because it was a day of Shabbat and they are not permitted to go out. Here comes the three, three sisters led by Mary Magdalene who was, who was delivered from the demon possession and Jesus healed her and that was the joy that, the, that was there in her heart. The love that she possessed for Jesus Christ and she said, I'm going to see the dead body of Jesus with some kind of preparation. But when is she going? And where is she going? She is going to the tomb. Ye behen Mariam Magdalene ke saath door behne kaha ja rahe hain? Kabr mein ja rahe hain. O kabr kisko dikhata hai? A tomb is a place of darkness. Okay. John chapter 20 verse 1 says, the same story, early in the morning, even while it was dark, andhere ke samay ko, jaga ko batate hain kabr. You know, and I would term that as a place of emotional weakness. I can challenge you that most of us would say no if I ask you, if I invite you for a tea party early in the morning, 3.30 in the morning in a tomb. I know that most of us would say, Pastor, sorry, we cannot come. And why it is so? Not because you hate me, just because that place is such. It's a dark place. And early in the morning, who would like to go? It's an emotional kind of struggle. Everybody would. Some people fear darkness, isn't it? Some people, they can't go from one room to other room. <laughs> they need somebody to come with them. And if you ask them in the night, okay, go to that other room, even in the same apartment, if you are asked to go to the other room, if it is dark, it is difficult. And that is natural for human beings. But there are some brave ones, some bold ones who don't fear uh, darkness. So that is not a big issue for them. But there are people who have some the emotional struggles in their life, something to do with the, uh, you know, darkness, something to do with things which are not clear in front of their eyes. So tomb is a place of darkness for them. Now next one, second one is the tomb is a place of fear and anxiety. Now why do I say that? If you want to look at uh, uh, the story of Mark chapter 5 verse 1 where a man who was possessed by 6,000 demons. Come on. 6,000 dushtatmao se grasit ek admi kabr ke paas rehta tha. He was staying near a tomb and he was, of course he was in the tomb and the Lord Jesus went and delivered him. You know that story very well. So this is a place of spiritual weakness, the demonic powers which are you know, hovering around that place, you know, you, you know, the demon spirits and evil spirits usually dwell in the tomb area. You know, that is another thing which people don't like to go there alone because they, they are afraid of these things. You know, they think that all the, 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 the demons, some Hindi mein kehte na, bhoot, bhoot wagara wahan par hai, wahan nahi jana, yamraj baithe hue hai. So that is a kind of place where we have struggles in our in our spirit life no now our spirit is not strong enough sometimes when we face people who are manifesting demons now we get scared you know have you seen people who are manifesting demons i have seen that you might have probably seen that in many places and when they do all kinds of manifestations you know you don't feel like sitting there you know it's really really difficult to face such people but if you are emotion, sorry, spiritually strong from inside, if you know the one inside you is stronger than the one who is outside you or whom you are facing, you will never be disappointed. You will be able to command the demons to leave that place because you have given that authority. If you have in the Samarth Abhishek, you can dance in front of you. So, there are some people who are weak in the spiritual life. So this tomb can show uh, uh, their spiritual state. And this place is a place of full of fear and anxiety. Some people are very fearful. Some people are very anxious. And some of the, uh, the, the weakness in our lives are brought by the demonic forces. I'm not saying everything is demon, but there are cases where people are some, uh, you know, they fear something and they have psychological problems like that. But Remember, this is a tomb in their life. Let me move to the next one. And uh, um, tomb is a place of hopelessness. You see that? A reasonless state. Now, you cannot, once you reach the tomb, what do you think? What is 
the what will happen to human being after this you know none of the reasons will help you understand that philosophies of this world can never approve or can can ever explain to you after this life what will happen some of the religions would say that after this life you go into some other you know uh, reincarnation aap is janam ke baad dusre janam mein jayenge pata nahi kya banenge acha karenge to acha janwar banenge hai na ya gaay jaise ban jayenge bura karenge to aise kutta ya ja ko या फिर मच्छर वगैरह बनाएंगे अब किसी का खून आपने पी लिया तो किसी का खून किया तो जरूर आप मच्छर बनेंगे क्योंकि अगले जन्म में मच्छर क्या करता है दूसरों का खून पीता है सो दिस काइंड ऑफ फिलोसफीज आर देयर आइडियाज आर देयर यू नो बेटर देन मी इन हिंदुइज्म ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स आर देयर यू नो एंड वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स वाज यू नो मेकिंग ए आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट एनी रिलीजन प्लीज डोंट फील बैड वन पर्सन वाज मेकिंग ए ही हैज डन अ पीएचडी इन रिलीजन सो ही वाज मेकिंग अ पासिंग रेफरेंस एज यू वर गोइंग थ्रू नॉर्थ इंडिया in the roads you know all these guys not, not guy g u i s guys no cows they were all lying on sitting on the road and you cannot disturb them you can't even uh, you know honk at them you you have to very politely pass by you know they are considered as you know gods you know that more than me so what happened is one of my friends who has done a phd in religion hinduism he told me सर uh, ये क्या है ना ये पुराने जन्म में ट्रैफिक पुलिस थे इसलिए उनको वो याद आ रहा है इसलिए वो रोड में आके बैठे हैं यू नो दे वर ट्रैफिक पुलिस इन द प्रीवियस इनकारनेशन सो प्रॉब्लम दे आर थिंकिंग ऑफ द रोड्स एंड ऑल दैट्स व्हाई दे आर सिटिंग ऑन द रोड एनीवे दीज आर ऑल जोक्स बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज पीपल डू नॉट नो वॉट विल हैपन आफ्टर दिस लाइफ इस जन्म के बाद क्या होगा एंड वेन यू गो टू द टू पीपल स्टार्ट थिंकिंग all those intellectuals philosophers they fail to answer that this place after this what will happen but praise god people like you and me we know what will happen after this there is very well that is very well recorded in the bible about what is what going to happen after this life again the third the next point which i want to bring is tomb is a place of human Uh, so uh, weakness okay of course philosophical failure also because they think that this is the place of death this is the final destiny iske baad aage kuch nahi hoga after this we don't know what will happen all the philosophies fail all the religion fail all this intellectuals fail to explain what will happen to this man or woman who died tomb mein aane ke baad aage kya hoga iske bare mein wahan baith ke log sochte hain hote hai ki nahi once uh, we go to the for somebody's burial you know for next two hours they are very pious they think about oh about death and after life and all but you know once they leave the tomb place once they leave the burial site they back to the old kind of thoughts and thinkings and all but at least during that burial service people start thinking about what is the meaning of life you know tomb is a place of destiny final destiny that's what people think and they don't understand this fact next one is the tomb is a place of human weakness now why do i say that particularly in this case three sisters are going towards the tomb in the in the jewish context when somebody makes a, a tomb a builds a tomb even before their death especially the rich people used to do that like joseph or matthias and all so this this was a rock was cut so that the tomb can be made and you know that will be covered with a large stone large stone so that is why you see in the case of uh, lazarus also you see uh, he was placed in a tomb and there was a, a stone there and somebody had to uh, people had to pull the push that to remove uh, and so that uh, they can get into the tomb in the case of jesus that was a large stone it was very difficult that was placed by the uh, the people over there strong men were coming and uh, placing it there but these women you know women usually cannot carry heavy load you know that is natural you know that's we i'm not against women. <laughs> i'm not saying anything against women but he has understood that women cannot carry heavy load you know that is how they are physiologically made and forget about women even men cannot uh, you know even if peter had come he, it would have been difficult for him it's heavy stone three or four people are needed to push it and so it shows our human weakness ask mary can you do that because they are asking a question in mark chapter 16 verse 3 
हु विल रोल द स्टोन फॉर अस हमारे लिए पत्थर कौन हटाएगा वी वॉन्ट टू सी जीसस बट द स्टोन इज अंड्रेंस फॉर अस so that some so you can say that this tomb is a place of human weakness we all have some or other weakness in our life isn't it physical weakness emotional weakness spiritual weakness or whatever different kinds of weakness can come under this category so you and me might be having some kind of tomb in our life okay and finally this tomb is a place of legalities legal laws rules regulations matthew 27 65 to 66 we read niyamo ka jagah hai because when jesus was laid inside the tomb you know the the the, the scribes and the priests went to uh, to the to pilate and said can you can you make sure that this fellow who promised who said that uh, even if i die i'll be risen one the third day you know tisre din mai ji uthunga so can you make sure that this tomb is totally you know secure so pilate said no problem go and get some guards for them ask the roman soldiers and i'll ask I'll give you permission to get soldiers to guard that uh, tomb for at least 3 days and also i'll put a seal on that a roman seal you know once a roman seal is put on something nobody can touch that nobody can come near that because it is to do with rules you will go to court now you will be arrested you will be taken into custody if you break that seal because that is the seal of the roman government who were ruling the entire world of that time romi samraj samrat ke seal ko wahan lagaya gaya hai aur us seal ko todne ke liye koi bhi vyakti agar aage aa gaya to uske upar niyam kanun lagega उसको जेल में भेज दिया जाएगा सो दिस इज द प्लेस वेर यू हैव टू डील विद लीगैलिटीज यू नो इवन इन आर लाइफ सम ऑफ यू आई डोंट नो अबाउट एनी बडी इन योर चर्च बट आई आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट यू मे बी गोइंग थ्रू सम लीगल इश्यूज रिगार्डिंग योर पेपर्स रिगार्डिंग योर वीजा रिगार्डिंग योर जॉब एनीथिंग यू नो यू कैन कंपेयर योर सेल्फ टू दिस दैट यू आर बाउंड बाय सर्टन रूल्स एंड लॉस ऑफ दिस लैंड and you may be worried about it probably that is a tomb in your life if you are going through a kind of human weakness that can be a tomb in your life if you are going through some questions in our mind what will happen about tomorrow you are having a tomb in your life if you are going through some kind of uh, spiritual weakness fear about demons and other things it can be a tomb in your life if you are going through some kind of you know a fear factor emotional struggles when you see all kinds of uh, darkness all around you feel anxious that can be a tomb in your life but what does god do what did G- what did god do on the day of resurrection i'm going to the next uh, 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 the, the thing the point main point the lord who can transform your tombs into wombs wo parmeshwar jo aapke कब्र को गर्भपात्र बना सकता है वाई डू आई से दैट ऑन दैट डे अनएक्सपेक्टेड मेरेकल हैपन ओ द टूम वॉज ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड सो यूर टूम्स आर गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड बिकॉज वी सर्व ए गॉड हु इज नोन एज बरा गॉड है ना आई थिंक आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू लास्ट टाइम आई डोंट नो वेदर आई रिमेंबर आई डोंट नो वेदर आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू you know there are various ways in a various uh, hebrew words used for god in the old testament an adjective used for that so one of the adjectives is a bara god now bara means creator in the hebrew language whenever you use the word bara bara is used exclusively for god human beings can make things but god can only create things do you see the difference i uh, you and i can make a cup or something like that if you know a little bit of technology if you have a little bit of intelligence you can make something but if i ask you to make a soul or a, or a spirit can you do that can you make a life no human being can do that and only god can do that that is why that adjective is used for god alone bara god Bara God is the one who can create things out of nothing, out of nothing. 
मतलब शून्यता से बनाने वाले परमेश्वर को हम कहते हैं बरा गॉड एंड यू कैन रीड दैट इन बुक ऑफ जेनिस चैप्टर वन गॉड सेट लेट देर बी लाइट लेट देर बी दिस लेट देर बी दैट इन सिक्स डेज गॉड क्रिएट द एंटायर यूनिवर्स एंटायर यूनिवर्स कैन वी डू can we think about can we even comprehend that in our minds is very difficult but i am going to tell you you and i sir that bara god how many would like like to praise god for that thank god if you think that we serve a bara god who can do anything any time for you and unexpected miracle happened at the tomb when these sisters came and were standing there that is what we read there was a big transformation that happened i'm telling you if you are going through any kind of tomb in your life god is going to do something supernatural unexpected miracle which you have never even thought even your lawyers might be you know you know very surprised you those people who gave you advices they'll be surprised what my god can do for you and me if you just trust in god that is the resurrection message for each one of us supernatural unexpected miracle is going to happen tombs are going to be transformed bara god is going to do that aapke liye alokik ek adbhut kaam prabhu aapke liye karne ja raha hai now what is that i am going to explain it the wombs of your life oh wow god is going to change your tombs into wombs what is meant by the womb you know that is the place where a baby is born or a baby is conceived or is taken care in a mother's womb and in human case it is 9 months you know whatever be it a life is formed inside the womb what did mary and Mar- mary and the other sisters uh, why did they go to the tomb they went to see a dead jesus the dead body of jesus yeshu masi ke mrtak sharir ko dekhne ke liye maryam aur baki behne gayi thi but what do they see there <laughs> what do they see there an unexpected miracle a good news that the dead person is no more here you can go with that assurance that he is alive he is alive he is not dead what a wonderful news what a wonderful news if you have if you have been to jerusalem and gone to the tomb of jesus and if you have not been please do visit that place i was so blessed i've heard about that but once you go there you will see a statement written outside he is not here he is risen beautiful isn't it none of the tombs have that kind of inscription baki sare qabron ke bahar likha hota hai इतना तारीख को जन्म हुआ इतना तारीख को मर गया बस खत्म कहानी बट इन द केस ऑफ जीसस देर इज नथिंग लाइक व्हेन ही वाज बोर्न व्हेन ही डाइड बिकॉज ही इज इटर्नल गॉड ओनली थिंग दैट इज रिटर्न इज ही इज अलाइव ही इज नॉट हियर ही इज रिजन प्रेज गॉड फॉर आर गॉड हु हु हैज आई मीन द लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट हुस टूम्ब हैज दैट इंस्क्रिप्शन ऑन इट and what does first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 20 says that he is the first among the resurrection no uh, uh, sorry 4 uh, verse 13 to 18 we talk think about we study about how those who are in christ will be transformed one day first corinthians chapter 15 verse 20 somebody can read that uh, uh, do you have that 1520 first corinthians 1520 what do you read there Can you can first, you yes. First Corinthians chapter 51 to 56 No chapter 15 verse 20 of course uh, I I mean to save time I'm just reading asking you to read verse number 20 yes But in fact Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep Oh wow What does that verse mean that Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep that means he was the first person to beat death and come out of the tomb and say that he is no more called as a tomb it is called as a resting place it is called as a hotel or a motel it should be called as a place where i am i rested for two days 
no more death it is a place of birth hallelujah oh ye maran maran ka jagah nahi hai ye janam ka jagah hai that is what that verse says and that is what interesting thing is that all those who are going to be in christ and all those who are in christ even if you die if the lord tarries to come you are not dying you are just resting you are just sleeping there is no vocabulary in the christian dictionary or a believers dictionary where the word death is there no no jesus replaced the word death with sleep prabhu yesu masi ne mrityu ke shabd ko neend ke saath tulna karke bataya hai so i'm telling you that happened on the day of resurrection beautiful jesus was the first fruit that means those who are in christ even if they die they will be raised again aur hum log jo masi mein mare hain wo dobara ji uthenge that is not tomb should not be considered a place of death but is a place of birth any of your tombs i am telling you the lord is going to do a miracle is doing a miracle and that's a place you will you will have you will call that as a place of birth something new is coming out some change is happening in your situation in your office in your physical body in your emotional situation in your spiritual state in your family a new birth is taking place hallelujah rakham andrava shikhara bala bala ba it is a place of celebration you see that it's a place of celebration why do i say it is a place of celebration oh that is the place oh some movement has taken place oh what is happening the chains are broken the roman chain the roman seal is broken and that is what you read in matthew chapter 28 an earthquake took place the seal was broken the chain was broken the the, the stones were rolled the stone was rolled patthar ludak gaya hallelujah oh patthar ludak gaya chain toot gaya and the dead body started moving and if you are there what will you do come on come on you will do what if somebody in your midst is in a very serious situation and because of corona whatever it is is in icu but when you see your prayers being answered and that person comes out of the icu what do you do you start clapping hands you start praising god you say say wow automatically there is a celebration that happens i'm telling you prophetically this morning as you're listening to this word oh the lord is transforming your tomb and there is celebration happening and if you just believe and say amen to that and receive it by faith you are going to rejoice along with those who are enjoying it and start praising god start opening your mouths start lifting your hands and say lord thank you this is a time of celebration that day mary enjoyed it that day peter enjoyed it they celebrated hallelujah would you celebrate this day as a day of rejoicing even in the times of difficulty paul and silas were in a jail and they did not know what to do but at midnight they started praising god when they started praising god they experienced the power of resurrection the chains were broken the the, the, the jailer got saved there was a big celebration that night there was baptism service can you see that by faith that some baptisms are going to take place even this lockdown situation can you see that some changes are going to happen in your family this is a place of divine presence womb is the place of divine presence why matthew 28:2 says angels appeared oh wow angels appear can you imagine in your room right now if angels come what do you do <laughs> you will feel the presence of god so intimately and you will see aapke room ke andar agar swargdoot aake khade ho gaye i have heard stories people saying that oh we saw the angel and it appeared for few minutes and look at the place when you and i like few minutes back when some brothers were worshiping the lord uh, singing songs and worshiping the presence of god was there and if you have spiritual eyes you can see that when the lord is there the angels are all, all around us sometimes even in your bad situation sad situation when we worship the lord angels are around and god's intervention will take place and in your life something is happening let me move forward and my time is running out the third thing which i want to bring out is who 
कैन विटनेस दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हु कैन विटनेस कौन इस बदलाव को अपने जीवन में अनुभव कर सकता है इस रेजरक्शन पावर को अपने जीवन में कौन अनुभव कर सकता है ओनली दो पीपल विद द विलिंग स्पिरिट विलिंग एटीट्यूड मेरी एंड अदर सिस्टर्स three of them had willing attitude when you read mark chapter 16 verse 1 what do you read there you read there that they were you know they were prepared with spices and all you see that they were prepared to go to the tomb some people when they come to the church they are not at all prepared you know you know sunday is a day of rest so they'll uh, if the meeting is at 10 o'clock they'll sleep till 9:45 not your church usually it is happy some people do they'll sleep till 9:45 and 9:46 they'll brush their teeth if they it's possible and then just comb their hair and just slowly come and some people reach before benediction because if they don't come pastor will call and why why didn't you come so even before a benediction i should open my video and at least show nowadays zoom zoom is very difficult you know i am pra- i praise god for this church at least many of you have opened your video because many some other church i went i was preaching in a zoom only pastor and me rest of them were in the in the tomb situation like they were all closed and closed are sitting there i don't know what they were doing i i know after the meeting i said pastor why don't you tell your believers to open the video and he was very very painfully telling me pastor if i tell them no they will not come to church next week onwards <laughs> <laughs> at least they are listening let them be there let them be there but i am telling you the, the lord is you know we should be willing we should be ready whether you know some people say pastor i am not opening the video because of the technical reasons okay the internet issue we understand that some people are traveling we understand that while they are traveling they they have to travel and they are listening that's okay you know they can't be, open the video and drive the vehicle sometimes it is not possible but some people say pastor i am not properly dressed up you know so even on sunday morning i am not dressed up so that's why i am not opening so there are many issues like that but look at the sisters they were ready with spices two days they didn't sleep properly they're preparing the spice to be taken to the dead body tomb mein le jaane ke liye wo sugandh vastu ko taiyar kar rahe the are we ready with prayer in the morning are we ready with the study of the word in the morning such willing attitudes will be honored by god not peter john peter john are sitting there they are very disappointed fearing inside a room but this sister says no 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 we will go you come or not we will go that's my second point your eagerness to see jesus john 20 verse one says early in the morning early in the morning even if, even when it was dark they were willing to go oh my god are we ready to get up in the morning and sit in god's presence god looks at it not just sunday every other day what time do we get up what time do we pray what time eagerness should be there whether we are able to do or not ask the sisters sisters are you able to do it peter is not coming with you john is not coming with you how are you going to go no we have a desire we have a desire to worship the lord if there is a will there is a way somebody said if there is a will there is a way agar aapke andar ichcha hai to prabhu usko aadar karega whether you do it or not is not that the secondary question but do we have the eagerness or today is sunday today zoom meeting today is a fasting prayer i want to attend lord even if i am driving i will attend it lord i want to be blessed that kind of attitude the lord wants and you will experience the transformation and finally your boldness will do something oh look at the sisters come on you tell me who is bold supposed to be bold men or women now today we have equality so i am not getting into that but in those days who are supposed to be bold strong brave men peter john james what what are they doing they are sitting in the room but look at these poor sisters <laughs> they are women they are not allowed to permitted to go outside in public without a male accompany accompany so we still these women they said no it's dark it's tomb this demonic you know situation but the love of god you know prompts us to go to that place it's the love of god is encouraging me the law the love of god is taking me into a new direction hallelujah 
the spirit of god is not the spirit of fear the spirit of god is spirit of boldness how many of us would say lord i need a boldness today oh that boldness of those sisters brought the presence of god right there that's why these three sisters were able to witness the risen jesus for the first time oh there were 12 disciples one of them committed suicide others 11 are sitting in a room tomb kind of situation for them their room is a tomb oh for judas it was money his that was his tomb but for these sisters they went to the presence of god they said we will go there and god transformed them god transformed the situation what did they see they saw there's a celebration happening there's a movement happening the chains are broken the, the stone is rolled the, the 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 body is not there the body is alive and we are not going to worship a dead god we are going to worship a living god the lord of lords the king of kings the creator of the world is taking away my pain there's a message for each one of us this morning you may be going through some kind of tomb in your life it can be discouragement it can be fear it can be anxiety it can be hopeless situation it can be your human philosophies that have failed you it can be your physical illness in your body it can be some legal matters these are some tomb kind of situations and is taking you to a dead kind of situation and you have given up hope pastor my case is over i'm going to go back to india my visa situation my physical condition this corona has okay taken away all kinds of joy from my life my children's career all these are in a tomb kind of situation but if you just open your mouth for a minute and start praising god and say lord i'm willing i am willing to worship you lord even if it is dark even if it is everything seems to be impossible possible even if i had to walk to that place even if i had to run and praise you lord even if i had to face all kinds of demonic forces i will still praise you lord i want a transformation i want a supernatural intervention in my life mere jeevan mein ek alaukik samarth utarne paaye i'm telling you right now you will experience that hallelujah hallelujah while the zoom meeting was going on for last one year this meeting is going on hundreds of miracles happened in our church and uh, in in those who connected i know you might have also experienced but i can tell about my testimony in our church in this zoom meeting sir people are healed sir people are delivered even some who did not conceive for 15 years god bless them oh hallelujah and there was two cases so what demon possessed when we were praying the lord touched them and demon start manifesting and they were redeemed delivered some people are very anxious god strengthened them some people were very fearful they started boldly proclaiming and testifying in the zoom and so we want to tell you i want to tell you my friends my brothers and sisters oh this time this moment is a moment where you can experience the resurrection power of jesus and the tombs of your lives are going to be transformed into wombs where you see a new life happening new life taking place you see with your own eyes with your own ears you're going to hear the good news right now something is happening would you close your eyes would you close your eyes and open your mouth and start praising god and would you please unmute for a minute and somebody who is a host can unmute this me this uh, all of us for a minute so that we all praise our god and start praising god you may please unmute hallelujah hallelujah whoever is a host can please unmute everyone everyone for a minute praising god praising god hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Jesus thank you Jesus praise God praise God everyone start praising God everyone open your mouths and see some spectacular thing is happening kuch adbhut kaam ho raha hai bol ke dhanyawad kare open your mouths and start praising God things are changing things are changing things are changing Adala bara sandra bahala ba shakara bala ba hamba ala ba shakara bala ba we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you lord you can clap hands you can raise your hands you can raise your voice you can praise in praise the holy name because the lord is resurrected we cannot be sitting there like that ave prabhu ne jeevan kiya hai hamara mood chalne lage jeevan hamare jeevano mein pravesh karne paaye hallelujah 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 bless the holy name bless the holy name bless the holy name thank you jesus 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 
Bless your name, 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 Lord. Father God, we want to thank you that your resurrection power is moving through the body by the soul. Spectacular things are happening right now in their lives, Lord. In the family, in the church, in the body, in the spirit, something is happening. A celebration is taking place. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for those saying amen to that, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Receiving your word right now, right now, Amen. something is happening. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. I know that you're touching them, healing them, delivering them. They're going to rejoice. They've already started rejoicing. Yes. God for the children, for the family, for the workplace, for the visa situation, for the spiritual life. Hallelujah. 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 We rejoice. We praise you. And thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus', Jesus. precious name, I pray. Amen. 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 Over to Pastor Sam today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor uh, Thomas Syrian, for sharing that wonderful message towards us about the miracles of God. Hallelujah. So, I mean, I believe that uh, the situations of the tomb, I mean, uh, will become the situations of womb in the, in the coming days. Hallelujah. In, in many of our families, hallelujah, the, the people are praying for various prayer requests. That they have many prayer requests. But this morning, I mean, as we were listening from the word of God, that uh, I mean, the miracles are going to happen in our families. Hallelujah. So we, we, we have been praying for various I mean, prayer requests. But uh, I believe, personally believe that uh, God is going to do the, the transformation in the lives of the people. Hallelujah. Yeah, and there will be, I mean, transformation taking place in the life of the people, those who are going through the different types of struggles in their life. Hallelujah. So this morning, let us all join together in prayer and uh, let us all close our eyes in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Let us just remember.